Hi, it's Rachel here again today. I just wanted to show you some of my fabric scrap packs that I make. I'm just restocking my Etsy store, so um, I thought I might share them on YouTube. So these packages are normally made up of um, vintage and antique fabrics with, mixed with some new fabrics, and they often have uh, antique hemp and vintage em hand embroidered fabrics some new fabrics and then also some textured sort of fabrics that I used to use when I made scarves. So I've been collecting fabrics for a really long time and so I've obviously got a huge stash that sometimes I need to uh, reduce and also sometimes when I buy antique fabrics I get a huge quantity of them or a large piece that I'll never use all of it so I, I share some of it in my scrap packages as well. And there are also uh, trims and then uh, little bits and pieces and hand stamped antique hemp that I love to use on all of my work, whether I be sewing or making books. And um, I think that's about it. So I t try to coordinate the colours when I make the kits. They take quite a while to make. And um, sometimes I'll say blues, but there might be a little bit of yellows or something else in there or lilacs. But all of the fabrics will coordinate. So this is just an example of one and then the one below is more mixed and then I have this one here too which is more sort of pinkies and yellows as well. So I'll just give you an idea of what sort of things go in them and, and then I'll show you what sorts of things you can make with them. So here's a pile of fabrics. So these are some antique fabrics that I have, some hand embroidered fabrics, um, sometimes a doily, some more hand embroidery, and then also, if I get down to here, I'll just move those out of the way, there'll be some pieces of antique hemp, and these sort of strips are really great for fabric weaving, and then bigger pieces. So these are the bigger pieces and you'll also have some textured sort of fabrics in there as well. And then I like to also put in all different types of trims too. Um, I also include sometimes this sort of trim here. This kind, these kinds of, vin that's a vintage trim that I bought at the antique markets. So is this one and then vintage or antique buttons like these and then sometimes these sort of painted wooden buttons are gorgeous as well for sewing projects or also on your books and then I also include a pack of coordinating trims as well and normally there's about a yard of each one except for the really thin one I'll do um, two yards of that and then I like to, um, where I've cut up little old sort of doilies, I've cut them up, so all different sizes of those, little flowers. And then also here, I always include some of my hand stamped pieces that I love to use in all of my work. So I'll just show you a few things that can give you inspiration of what to do with these sorts of packs. So one thing is, where did I put it? here is um, these journals that I make. I'm working on one now for my friend so you can do this kind of collage -y sort of work on a journal um, or otherwise if you're a sewer this is a, um, a pouch I made. I have a tutorial on how to make up the pouch but it's all just different little pieces of fabric and slow stitching just a running stitch and then my hand stamped little bee there with, and I always use um, permanent fabric ink and then an antique piece of lac trim. Or otherwise I make covered books like this. So this is a book that I use for my work where I write down all sorts of things that I need for Etsy and that sort of thing. And I just make a loose cover for books and I use my scrappy sort of fabrics. And then the other fun thing I did with that sort of thing is this for my daughter. I did a Mana Lunt course. And I cut out the embroideries. I put them on a just an old, old um, 
base, I did some embroidery, I appliqued old trims, I made yo-yos, little doily sort of flowers, and I did random stitching here and there. There's another old piece there, I used a bit of wool. This is a really fun thing to do with that sort of scrap pack and buttons everywhere. And then the other thing that you can do is also this kind of slow stitching. So all pieces of fabric, different colours, and then heart, different, a study of hearts, it's called a nine patch. Um, and this was inspired by Jude Hill. I did a course of hers several years ago, and this is something that my mum actually made. Um, she made one when she was here, and then she made a whole lot when she went back to Australia. So just wanted to share those with you. I'll be updating my Etsy store later today. I do have the packs listed, but I need to update the photographs with the new packages that I made. So, oh, oh here's another thing, sorry. I'll just show this one. So this is one that I've also made with lots of scraps. It's not quite finished yet. I might do a video about this one day. And I've even cut the flowers out of the fabrics and then embroidered over them. And there's still quite a bit of work to be done on that one. So just to give you an idea of the sorts of things that you could do with those scrap packs. They're also great for journal making because there's all different types of te textures and um, buttons and stamp things as well and trims that can be used in making journal covers so that's all i have for today thank you for watching and i'll be back soon bye